Hey, what do y'all know? Mr. Sylvester, Mr. Sylvester Turner, Mayor of Houston. He's an American attorney and politician who is the 62nd and current mayor of Houston, Texas, a member of the Democratic Party. We just had a shooting. We just had a shooting, all right? Another shooting, 10 dead, supposedly, so far. At least eight people and as many as 10 have died as a, a result of a shooting Friday morning at a high school in the southeastern Texas city of Santa Fe, Harris County Sheriff, Ed Gonzalez said. This is the third school shooting in eight days. What? I don't believe that. Third school shooting in eight days. What the fuck? In the 22nd since the beginning of the year. No, it's not the 22nd since the beginning of the year. I'm sorry. People who commit suicide in their cars while they're in parking lots of schools that have been closed months earlier are not school shootings. People who discharge firearms on school premises after hours are not school shootings. This is CNN. This is why I look at all sides. A male suspect believed to be a student has been arrested in the shooting at Santa Fe High School about 20 miles outside of Galveston, Gonzalez said. Second person also believe a student has been detained as well, Gonzalez said. Most of the dead are students, the sheriff said. Witnesses described. All right, so who's the sheriff? All right, where's this at? Santa Fe. All right, let's look at Santa Fe. Hello? Jesus. Santa Fe's sheriff. Oh, can't reach Google at the... Oh, yeah, you can't reach... Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, I already know the whole... The mayor is a Democrat. Been elected. I can show you all that. Sylvester Turner. He's the mayor. From 89 until 2016, huh? Well, well, when we talk about term limits here, why is it all happening Democratic? Yeah, I wonder why. I wonder why that is. Did anybody hear about the uh, uh, Illinois shooting? Yeah, there was just a shooting. A, a ma uh, there was about to be a mass school shooting. Guess what stopped it? A civilian with a firearm who was on school premises. They stopped the motherfucker. You know how much ammo he had on him? Oh, no, you don't. You don't. You probably didn't even hear about that. Why don't you Google it? You probably won't even find shit because they hide it. They won't show it on TV because why? Because it's defensive self-use of a firearm. Someone with a firearm stops someone from killing tens, 20, hundreds of people. Who knows what would have happened? But they won't tell you. Did you hear about the Illinois shooting? I don't think you did. Now that we're dealing with in America, I mean, just look at the Trump-Russia collusion story. This is such a fake news story. It's unbelievable that anybody even believes it. But they do. Why? They have a mental health problem. They're suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. They're suffering from confirmation bias that they get from their mainstream media network they tune into, like CNN and MSNBC. So here's how it goes. This is the mind of an average liberal today. With their confirmation bias. This is real journalism. He's driving to go on scene to actually in investigate things, all right? Owen is actually going to investigate things while everybody else will sit in New York City and actually get things handed and fed to them in talking points, all right? What did we just find out about Parkland? We just found out that the Parkland school shooting may have been different. Also, what, Las Vegas? 
Las Vegas. I haven't done a video about that, but yeah. I haven't even researched it yet. I've been working so much. The belt on my car just broke when I was driving to work. It's just my luck, right? I'm driving to work. I hear a putt, 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 putt. The belt on my car breaks, so I had to cut it with my uh, with my knife, just the little straddles that were coming off of it so it wouldn't fray for the like five miles I had to go to work. And then this morning I had to go install a belt on my car. I don't know nothing about cars. You know what? YouTube is ridiculously amazing because I, I know things about cars. I, I installed a belt, all right? I installed an alternator. I've done that, all right? That's the power of YouTube, all right, and the power of y'all, but this is true journalism right here, all right? Mental health problem in this country that on the extreme level, you say, okay, look at what happens to Nicholas Cruz, and then he goes up and shoots a school on the psychotropic drugs. Look at what's happening. Democratic policies. They didn't want to target um, the, what, what they called them minorities. Cruz is considered a minority. He's Hispanic. So it's, I forget the exact name of it, but they didn't want to arrest people of color. And uh, basically because they got a lot of money going to their county, it, it made the arrests, it, it went, the arrests went down and they basically, people got a slap on their wrist, just like Cruz. If it wasn't for this democratic policy, this wouldn't have happened because he would have been arrested by then putting guns to people's heads and shit. Let's figure out what's going on with this. All right, I got to charge my battery, y'all. Hey, I love y'all. Um, let's look into this. Go down in the comment section. I love y'all. Please subscribe and uh, like. Uh, this is Born a Hawkeye. It's Corey. I'm out.